what's up guys and gals oh my gosh this is something that is ridiculously phenomenal in a creation i actually came up with whoa all right so i don't know where to start but this is what i came up with this guy looks kind of like a rat i called him rat man i thought i was the first to come up with the name but obviously we're in a world where there's billions and billions of people with bright ideas and things to say and things to think about and etc so i'm sure people have came up with the name before me because if you look on google you'll see but it's all good it is a really really unique character that i created and what you're seeing is an amazing render and it's not even rendering in eevee this is rendering in cycles can you believe this I have no idea how I got it to render in cycles like this, but this is what I did. I changed some of my settings. I got cycles, support, supported, and GPU compute. Now, if I switch it over to this render option to viewport shading rendered, it will show cycles. So it's not 100% cycles, but it's somewhat there. Let's switch over to Eevee and see if it looks the same it does look the same that's weird I don't know how but that is actually the material preview that I got set up I just wanted to show y'all folks a teaser man this is a really really amazing render whoa H what did I hide that I don't know let's undo that what I wanted to do is hit the N key and the T key so you can see the full screen view of it. This is phenomenal. Amazing what you can do with Blender and utilizing not just Blender, but I got this character created off of Make Human and it is a 3d model as you can see and look at the teeth look at look at the accuracy of those teeth that is just spectacular i i just i'm blown away that is amazing this is amazing wow wow that looks close to real now the viewport is not even rendering that much. I only got it at 16. Let me take it up to about 200. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my computer. But, yep, that is improving a little bit of the quality, the visual quality. I don't know how I got this like this. This is crazy. So all I did is I went in and then added the scene world view and that was the actual shading that I created for the render viewport when it goes to render in Eevee that's basically what it's going to show and I'm blown away this is just crazy it is crazy what I was able to do so this is the full-fledged character I turned him into like more like a super villain and I'll show you where I created him from he goes to make him in software. I started him here. And this is just some weird pose that I was playing with. Now, to credit the people who came up with differing things for the content, um, the pose that I chose to use, I believe is Harvey. I don't know. I D U N N O. So that was for the pose. Everything else I don't think needs to be credited. Um, Let's see, the skin. Let's go check out the skin real quick. The skin is the young Caucasian male special suit. So I'm not really too sure who created that, but I can go to the community and then go to yes for download it, update list, and try to find out who created that suit. So... I'll just look through and see if I can find it. Uh, go to close, update list, and see if I could find that female suit. Um, not too sure 
female suit two. Is that it? No. I think that is part of um, what is offered up by the Make Human software. So I don't think I have to credit anyone for it, but I'm just crediting. I don't really have to credit 100% in this video. Uh, actually, I do because it's not an educational video. It's just more like a teaser video. So let's see. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. So, yeah, that was nine times out of ten part of the outfits that we get over here when you go to close and you can choose to uh, actually not close skin so you got to go to materials and you go to skin and it should be at the very bottom you can also choose the male the male or female suit so i got the young caucasian male suit actually the difference you would see in the face basically just the outline of like mascara or something or outline of makeup over the eyes this character right here kind of looks like a dare with the fingers right that's what I was trying to go with go with this um this pose right here let's go uh, that's Harvey as well so the first one was Harvey and this is the second one Let's go and check out Harvey's um, poses. Go to pose, update list, and real quick, I'm going to end this session because I got to go to work, by the way. So Cal Harvey actually is the person who came up with it, Cal Harvey 3D from the Make Human community. So there you go with that. Um, let me go back to Blender just to end it with a bang. This is really crazy, folks. It is phenomenal what you can do. You can really, really go hard and create some amazing stuff. I got some good um, renders. I'll show y'all, folks, the renders before we end the session. Uh, let's go to... We'll go over here. Go to renders. And then make these large. So let's go to... View... Uh, make them large icons. How about extra large icons? And then go in and hit the R key and then scroll down. So here goes some of them. We'll go in and open this up in Windows Photo Viewer and go to Photos so you can see all the renders that I got. Different renders that I play with, some in Cycles and most of them in Eevee. So you'll see it's more of like an evolution of the viewport. You know, me trying to render it and get it to look better and better in the viewport of Blender. So I am blown away by this um, myself that I was able to even come up with this. So what I'm going to do is eventually take this concept of what I worked on and expound upon it and try to really go harder definitely in the animation side see if I can bring this kind of animation to life see what I can do with the animations and look at this look at the render it is just crazy this is an Eevee um, this one I believe is Eevee as well but it was that viewport thing that I did actually no that was um, when I went to cycles and I switched over this one is when I went to cycles and I switched over this was an Eevee, 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 Eevee. This is the first part when I first started it. Eevee, this is Eevee, that's Eevee, and that is, uh, I believe this is Cycles. So you can tell by the texture, it looks a little bit more realistic with Cycles. And that's what the whole thing with Cycles is. It's more like a photorealistic render engine. But I am blown away by the precision, how accurate it looks, and how, how amazing it looks. It almost looks like a real costume, like a real human is in a costume or something. Or some sort of a creature slash animal. I'm not sure. Um, really amazing. 
I called him Ratman, but uh, I'm going to give him a name, some kind of name other than that. Because like I said, someone else got that name. So that was it. And hopefully y'all liked this video. Joy, love, and peace to all. A teaser on the rendering side of creating from Make Human onto Blender using Blender as an amazing render engine. It is dope. So other than that, I am out. Joe Love and Peace to all. Mike Pugh signing off. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to smash that bell icon out of the universe if y'all want to get my latest videos. And feel free to subscribe, as like I said. Um, and if you like the video, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Drop me some comments as to what you're intrigued about or whatever you choose to comment about this. I, I am blown away. I don't know about y'all folks, but Blender is amazing and Make Human most definitely beefs it up and makes it even better. So there you go. If y'all folks don't know anything about Make Human, you can check my playlists. I'll be putting some information and links in the description area below um, this video in the above the comment section. So check out the description if you want to get how-tos and things like that. And that's all I got. Peace.